chillo, chillo. Today, I'm playing Vimba. Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. 1988 Oh shit, leaving already? Sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover... Oh god, I'm gonna so butcher names. There's some leftover Italy batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can st steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. Ooh, what are these? Are these gonna be like little breads? It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idlis, very easy. It'll, t It'll take me too long then, but don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes, then, but really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna get so hungry playing this, because I'm hungry already. Bimba. I've never had chutney before. Or any ooh look. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although Should I try my mother's recipe for once? Though I make Elisa are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Mm. The recipe is still readable, that is. Ooh, we're being adventurous today. Switching it up, switching it up, I see. Holy shit. <laughs> Tools. Idly plate. Towel cooker. Ingredients. Water batter. Holes let steam through. These always or these also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to blink or it'll I have not made Idly with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, so I'm not sure why. But Ama swears this method makes the Italy's a lot softer. Okay, hold up. Is this gonna be a puzzle type again? Arrange plates so steam can cook. Or so steam can cook better properly, okay. No point put a play with up. Wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to make the batter. Wait, how do I make the batter? Do I, can I turn the page? How, wait, how do I make the, oh, there's already batter, duh. Thought I was making, wait, don't I put the water in first? Did I do that right? I did that right. I think. Okay. Now does the water go? Yeah. Towel on top. Wait, where does the towel go? <laughs> Bruh. I just realized there's three plates. Where 
just the towels that go there. Up. That should be long enough. Who is this? Yeah, it turned out. Messed up the top. No. I didn't make the holes even because I forgot to turn it. Why am I dumb? I'll get this, I swear. How was it again? So, yeah, the holes need to be over the other one. It's going to be perfect this time. Only took three tries. Oh, it's done. Took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. Really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Italy's. Benpa, I told you to go to sleep. <sighs> You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavel, Pavlon. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. Even if I had to let you leave. Well, I do for lunch. <laughs> you just want Ready? Alright, sorry. Do you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full-time. 
Unless the school gives you more shifts. Or my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. I've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Okay. Low, low blow. Low blow. I made those. Dunbar, are you home? What did the doctor say? Excuse me. So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I can say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Oh, okay. It leaves again? Ah. Let's get an interview today. What? There's <gasps> <laughs> a baby. Oh god. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. There's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though. We're barely streaming by as it is. Can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if there was on us for that for, for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But where are we living? Are we in Canada? But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. You're overthinking. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm, calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavlon, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Crack heads. Crack, baby. Being out, uh, being out shown by one's children is a universal desired form of sweet. Oh, I didn't finish. I'm slow. My name is Pavlon, sir. Pavlon, sir. Kevin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it'd be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. I don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir. Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there, don't run. <laughs> Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir, Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Oh, that towel is so dirty, duh. Here, wear this shirt, Kana. No. But sir, you can't just take me on a probation period. Maybe. I'm driven self-started and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Connor. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in, tem uh, speak in to mail, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Connor. I understand. 
Oh wait, so when they're talking in yellow, is it English? Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Well, Mr. Bachelor Silence, what happened? Same old. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. <laughs> You're paid in candy. Ah, oh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I've been half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. I can understand those shows. Maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. That's what your son is gonna forget Tamil at this rate. Do you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking Tamil da. What's wrong with that? The only one other that's different, anyways. Memes tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is gonna tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name, and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. He's brighter than us, Vemba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know, he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate Dekana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Ooh. Can we order pizza? Speaking it's a middle cabin. I want pizza. Probably make something at home. Like parota. Or parada. Parota. Dosa? Idiapam? Idiapam? Gidoza? Briani? Or, or I heard for that one before. Kari Dosa? No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. Eat pizza all the time, Kevin. Have you ever had putu? Pato? Pato? What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. It reminds me of a rocket. A rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. Looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you got a nice cardboard box. <laughs> He's gonna want the putza now. Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you wanna see? Alright, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the fire first, uh... Get my jams on. Okay. Ingredients. 500 grams of rice. Water. Blend 500 grams of rice. Separate fine rice from chunks. Uh, blank chunks. No. Combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. Soon, uh, be patient. So, soak rice. Now, what was it? Sift? It was sift, right? Separate. I feel like I could put Jams. 
Is this too much rice or is this just enough? Then combine farming rooms, fine rice with water. So I add. This is perfect. I just feel like flour even though there was so much water. You have to mix the water flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly with sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Amma, when will we get to the rocket? Oh god. <laughs> so many steps. No. Okay. So, okay. So put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So, is this coconut layers? So, coconut. So, water at the bottom. Four tablespoons of three tablespoons. Let's say this is the coconut. Alright, this is straightforward. Some of the parts of the water steamer and cook. The tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in, or, and in what order coconut can crumble easily. Okay, so water goes in the base. This goes in the top. So, three tablespoons. We're gonna. Three tablespoons of flour. Is it four tablespoons for each of these? Or is it two? So, one, two, wait a minute. Hold on, never mind, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing now, hold on. So there's three tablespoons in total of, I, I understand it now. I'm understanding this now. I am understanding what they are putting down. So this is the coconuts, right? Coconut, here we do. One, two, coconuts. One, two, coconut. Launch time, Kevin. Wow, that was so cool. And I can't believe it didn't fall. Ama, can we do that again? Ooh, what's that sauce? What's the dip? What's the soup? We're not unable to offer you. Our secondary teacher position this year or this time however we can <laughs> no we encourage you to apply is he asleep I think so Kevin yes he is good so that interview another dead end Yes. I need water. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. That water don't taste right. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at this at his company. We really 
really are at the end of our rope. We're behind on rent again. We haven't sent money home in a while. Thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Cavan on the Putsu today, really good with kids. Can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Cavan. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Cavan? I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Cavan. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Cavan? Mm. I guess this. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Middle of a culture shock, I guess. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school? What? He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it. Or if he's embarrassed. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him. What did it say? I skipped. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. It also comes with its own culture, language, and values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Ben, but he'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect like hair fallen from the head. 1995. the past now. What's the last time? Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavlon. He's my dad. P A A V A L A N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually is alone and he's very quiet. He says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. He says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. So if he uses, if the mother uses her son to speak English, how does she, what does she teach in school? Or is she just not, I don't know. She might not like English. Why are we walking through the park, Ama? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If you decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at 5. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, why am I choked up a little? You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But, only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? 
Ooh, okay, I can do that. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. So you can speak to him when you want to. I don't know, maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. You do back home. Same as here, I was a teacher. Not just a supply teacher. I taught math for 9th to 12th standard. Were you a cool teacher? What's a cool teacher? Fun and easy going? Like, were the kids scared of you? Only kids named Kevin. I don't know, I like to think I was good at it. My classes were always fun for the students. Though I don't think I'm a cool teacher here. I miss those days. But you teach here too. It's not the same. Why not? I don't know. It's just not. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Pavlon wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to, to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Mama, I see Appa. What's he doing? What's going on? Oh, I don't like the look on her face. It's scary. Oh no. Oh, I got goosebumps. What the hell happened? I don't like this. Oh, did he get beat up? to his writing. Nothing no matter how dear should be sought at the expense of one's honor. 2006. Ooh. Oh, we're old. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions, too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Kevin pack. Uh, is he off to college? Our boy's so grown. Our boy's so grown up. What are we making? Holy shit, this is a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Iran gravy? There's nothing. Okay, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. Never made it that way before. But I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. How am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you.
I didn't mean to press that. Where's the... Where's the recipe book? Oh, there's no recipe book anymore. There's a logic to your order. You add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. So tomatoes are last. Tomatoes last. I remember, add all of these first. That looks like... Okay. These ingredients so expensive. Amo, why are you going through all of this trouble? It's okay, dude. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Okay, so it's that. Wait, was it three or four? So it's these. 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 So it's four. So it is cardamom. That. 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 Okay. Lose your mind over these prices. So onions go first. Then chilies. Then that. Then, then we go. Bam. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realize there was a ginger garlic base. Hold on. So onions first, chilies. That chili garlic. Wait, what? Wait. Do I do that? Beef goes in after we had all the salt and powders. We had our Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know. Okay, I know, I know, I know. So, that first. That first. Not that. That. And then we do that. A lot of trouble for the recipe book, Amma. Sorry, I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these, if he ever does. Then, I throw these in. Oh, this smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes, and we can start the layering. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. There's biryani. Holy shit. What speed? Once done, let it sit in a low flame for 30 minutes. Uh, fuck. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. One, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. What in what order? May I try to remember? Oh, I see. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer, and that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? 
You know we all will visit. Oh god, I'm choked up. Ooh, that got me. You know we visit often. When those things are better, we'll come back here. <laughs> this is our home. Where else will we go? I know, kind of. It's just so far away. Look at him. So it's one, two, one, two, three. So where do I do? I don't get. So I'm, I'm putting it in this, right? I'm honestly not sure what to do at all. All those on top of the rice layer. So rice layer is two. Okay, so one. Okay, so Brian. Okay, so it's one. Then this is two. Then. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to, I need to take some of this. I need. That's what I need. I just have to cover it with a lid now. Okay, I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. Should be good now. Looks amazing. Family beef. I just got a Juma for family beef. <laughs> so different. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Oh. It's really good, Ama. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Oh, Ama, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way you and Oppo won't have to drive all day. I was looking forward to the drive. We gotta all spend some time together before we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Aw, oh, that would be nice. But I think it's just easier this way. You can always annoy me another time. Okay, Kana, sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? Um, maybe we can try their next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know why. Pack a lot more of the biryani. Also pack some potatoes, pickles, and sweets. Did you give all the pieces to Kevin? Um, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I packed for your friends, too. You can all eat. Um, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I want them in my dorm, either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all this, all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeteria instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. Can't believe she gave him all the pieces. I'm just eating Koska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. 
You, you can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said, no, Ama. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. I just want to be normal. For once. Yeah. Kana. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a, there's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. I'll call every week, too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. That's why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. Makes his own choices, even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. We're unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Mm -hmm. Oh, she still has that letter. Or did Kevin reach the university? Do you text or call yet? Nope. We told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't yet. Oh, he has. He kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. Maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course, not Pavlon. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. Kevin said he wants to pursue writing. I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I want to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones he wrote too. All the stories you wrote to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read some male literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess that wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe we should have stayed. If you're going to suggest, I would have. I would have been better off not moving here with you. My anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. 2014. February 3rd. Uh, 
Uh-oh. His papa passed. I think Appa is no longer with us. making Dogging them out of the pot. Pot of aura. fish. to go let's get to it let's whip it up what type of butter what's that Say I'm a chief. Mm -hmm. 
delicioso. Ooh, a coconut. We're going coconut, coconut. We're gonna make coconut rice. I feel like Ratatouille right now. Ratatouille. What are you pulling chicken breast or drumsticks out? Oh, I'm flipping them. They're in a the pan. I didn't realize they're in a the pan. Beast. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a good. Please tell me they show. They never showed. Thank you so much. Sure, I'm, I have a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by for a new message. Uh, I'm a, th a super. Sorry, I'm a something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. something last minute really hot pop up or do you just not want to come fucking asshole this damn mother had a hard life enough can't even show up for one dinner Got a job without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. Bachelor of Arts, fuck Kevin. I don't like Kevin that much. You're just hey? what if it was like super diverse table of kids hey? they all shared food from their different culture what do you think Frida's lunch should be hey? chicken tikka hey? spicy vanilla maybe yeah. pretty sure well Priya is to mill so probably none of those what if we show her eating nothing yeah. why like, I would bring back my lunch a lot. Well, yeah. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. 
Maybe we can touch upon that. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represent Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open, <laughs> oh, open the lid. I get we're celebrating but a scene like this would make me feel like I was yeah I'll check my mother's recipe book what was happening before all of this Hey Kevin, I wanted to ask you if you had any cool references for set designers as they design for his home. They can do their own research for sure, but maybe there's something cool you have in your home. Something cultural and potentially obscure. <sighs> okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least they can do is ensure it's authentic. I can't believe Alma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India though. Oh, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Ooh, Italy's. This is pizza. Oh god. Ooh, I remember making this with Alma and Appa. That was fun. Birani, of course. Appa's favorite. Not too cozy. Kulambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. Must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. I'm gonna fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawing cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first, and then I can start putting it together. Okay. So it looks like a base. Can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. Looks like I have to mix the tamarind the water to extract its essence multiple times. Remember it. Water. The water has really changed color. If you add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. You can find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. It's easy. Receive over this, you pour this, and this. Wait, am I? Do I want to mix this more or no? Am I adding more water? Oh, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Tamarind. Add more water directly to but that might dilute the extracted water. You need to find a way to separate this. Yeah, do that. Was I doing it right the first time? This didn't feel right. Oh, I didn't feel right doing it this way.
I'm lost. <laughs> well, there's no guy diagrams in this one. My tunnel isn't in the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. Maybe I can do it step by step. I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. Nice. Just have to figure out the missing parts. We can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? So there it is mustard seeds, rosin powder, shallots, tomatoes, cumin, curry leaves, salt, garlic, and ginger. If I had to zoom, I'd say probably that and that. For, for both the things I added grains, what else could it be? I can't. None of these are grains, really, right? Is this cumin a grain? Not garlic and ginger. Am I being stupid here? Tomatoes. So could it be cumin? Or can it be that? Hot seeds, not grains. Can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound though. Oh, it's already smelling so good. I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Mix it up. Must have my words for red and green switched around. And then the next step. Add minced and crushed ginger garlic. That's it. Add minced blank shallots. It's usually around this time, Mama has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. <laughs> what gives out water? First add blank that creates water, then add water itself. Tomatoes! Oh, tomatoes. Brian seems to release a lot of water. That water? Yeah, it's this water. So that's what the tamarind water is for idea what this says but only two ingredients left so add blank and blank to taste it smells really taking me back I'm always upset because of the phone call she got from home I think I remember now. Sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Sure, I think water goes first. Salt the water. Turn it on after, I don't know. Is that everything? The lid I forgot. So mama's sick, I think. Movember's mother. should keep going. Bro, 
Oh, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has one color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Man, should we even feature this in the show? Corporation is gonna start. It's going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Razama is usually water, but here it is fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. He's out of take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. That looks great, Amma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes everything like that and or anything like that day. Ama, Ama, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Oh no, Kana, not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother, Ama, loves her a lot. Sometimes people have to leave and go far away. Ama will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Ama. Or Appa. Humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Going to India to see our mother. I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin. Listen, it's all about temperature control with dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting for the batter. And since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. And it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you. Another dosa. Dos Disaster coming up. Okay, so we go. We turn the stone down to low heat. Water to cool the stone. That. Now we. Why? trying to do it but it's not letting me there we go hurry skip you good oh my god I did it good job Ready to try something harder? No! Mom, please! Ready to try? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time, so you can lay all the vegetables 
This is like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings? Yes. Not really, though. <laughs> Why? There we go. And now the toppings. I have to add all of them. Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's component is different. Just make sure to add ghee first. Where's the ghee? Green chilies, carrots. Want to do it all? We're getting gold brown on the edges, right? Ah, uh, that's a little. That's not golden enough, I don't think. Is that right? It looks a little white. See, I told you it's easy. It looks a little. More white compared to the other one. I haven't made this in a while. This was your Oppo's favorite. Carry dosa is, is dosa with mincemeat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here. You can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okay, cool. So I gotta do it again? Why does it never want to spread right away? Good job, Kevin. I can start adding the carry toppings. Like with Brian, you want to add the ghee first, then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and fish root first. Okay, so ghee first, followed by beaten eggs. Add a layer. Where do we do that? Where do we do that? That that's brown on the edges. Another one down. This is fun. Yes, it really is. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. And all right, I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve dosas like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? Came here for more than just dosas, Kevin. Oh yeah, of course, I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, it'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you, then? Let me do it this one time, at least. Sure, Kevin. Oh. Amo? I have something to show you. This is on. Uh, ugh. I'm choked up. This is Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too. And you wrote in Tamil. This is great, Captain. Is this all research for that show you were writing? No, Amma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the show owners felt like I could offer a Tamil perspective. But I've distanced myself from all of that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? I even acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for my for me my whole life. But now I'm acting to mill when it is convenient for me. When there's a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. You're being unfair to yourself. 
It's true, Ama. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. He's a, he's a little bit sad. Not gonna lie. My mouth is dry. My mouth is parched. This is so sad. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. And I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. After Pavillon, well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Alma. How long are you staying for? Don't know, Alma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. This is really nice. What does Kana mean? Oh, it's the mask. That Appa liked in the house. But now it's outside. Designed and rated by Omni. Oh, this was a good game. It actually... I don't know if it's because I'm tired, but it... Oh, I choked up at some emotional bits. I wasn't expecting that. Got my eyes water a little bit, a little bit. Good story. Good fun short game. I liked it. I don't want to sit through. I'll sit through it. I, was say, I really don't have anything else to add right now. I'm just tired to be honest. Uh. Hungry. A lot of that food looked really good. Never had any of food. I like to try. Uh. I like these fun short games. I want to try to do more of them. These indie games have a lot of good story. Good story aren't as bloated as some of these AAA games like playing through Avatar story wise I like the story of Avatar but the gameplay was just so bloated connect to these clues That same thing all over again. Meet this new clan. Then do. Then go do this outpost. Then connect more clues. It's all like the same. What's going on? Why is the frying pan. Why are you doing that? 
supposed to be doing that? Is this a loading thing? I don't know what's going on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what is th <laughs> Was this on a black screen? For how long? I'm actually confused. I want to go back to the menu because I want to see what else I have left. I think that was, that was Vemba, that was good, I will stream again later today, but that's it for now, bye bye.